We are in Gothenburg and we have our bus here, which is an autonomous bus, a self-driving bus, that we're going to try out some new scenarios that is common in the, in the depot. For instance, we will go to the washing facilities, charge it, we're going to drive into parking space and also into the workshop. We have a platform that is really tight maneuvering, so that's going to be really interesting to see if, if we are able to, to do that. Serious bus testing, autonomous. The engineers today will, uh, first of all, create a map over the depot and then we'll also record the path that we're going to execute during the different scenarios. We are working with technology sensor-based. We are having laser scanners, we have GPS, we're using the standard audiometer from the bus. We also have speedometer. We are really excited. We have done some tests and this looks promising. Now it's examines day, so to speak. The, the bus will reverse down to the platform and the tricky part here is that we're going to switch from outside to indoors and if we have GPS sensors it's going to fail or drop so we will just rely on the LiDAR sensors. This is the platform and uh, it's going to be tight but I think we're going to manage it. It's going to be cool. Hand over. Fischer? Yes? Go. Like a glove. Was it good? The indoor workshop driving went really smooth. It's easier when you drive by yourself, for sure. Most of the, the damage happens when you drive manually. We never damage the vehicle when we drive autonomously. One scenario that we did today was parking and we have really tied it up with two buses and we parked our bus between those, no problem at all. And we also did a scenario where instead of the bus driver find the bus at the bus stop, the bus comes and pick up the driver instead when it comes out from, from the facilities. It was a really good day. It was more than expected actually. We, we think that we should have some hiccups or something, but it was, it was a straight line. I'm really happy. <laughs>